Hey beauties, if you don't know me yet, my name is Ingrida and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna try to be as short and informative as I can possibly be. <laughs> I'm gonna be creating the eyeshadow makeup look for the hooded eyes, as I do have super hooded eyes and super oily skin for that matter. So we're gonna try to create something that's gonna stay on the eyes all day long and not gonna be your like usual look. You know what I mean? So for that reason, I decided to go with the Makeup Revolution Forever Flawless Constellation Palette as I love, 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 love this super bright colors. I did a video, I'm pretty sure, using this palette already before. I just thought I'm gonna do quickly a double one, so let's just do this. Alright, so I've already prepped and primed on my eyes. I mean, I use the concealer and the setting powder on my lids. So first the concealer and then the setting powder. Well, let's jump in and use this Forever Flawless Constellation Palette by Make Revolution. I want something bright, so I think maybe let's do kind of pink look. So maybe let's start from the Jupiter as a transition color. So higher than the crease is. I'm concentrating more on the outer corner of the crease, basically where your orbital bone is, and then dragging more to the inner eye corner. I'm taking the color Venus and a flat brush, I'm gonna go on the outer corners in a C shape. I'm taking the flat shape brush. So on the outer corner, I can be more precise. So I'm going in like a straight line first. And then I'm adding a little bit closer to the lash line. Kind of like a C-shape. And what's left, drag it into this crease outer corner. And then blending this inwards. I'm taking the color called Mars. And once again, I'm going to go on the outer corners in a C-shape. Taking the color Cosmic and once again gonna go on the outer corners in the same C shape just to darken up the outer outer corner, not dragging much of this color to the middle of the mobile lid. And then what's left on the brush, I'm going to this crease part. So next thing I'm doing, I'm taking a big fluffy brush. This one is Deluxe Crease Brush by Real Techniques and blend this all together. Especially this transition color that we added and this crease. Just going in a circle motion and blending it, softening it all up. Next thing I'm doing, I'm taking the concealer, this one is Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in a C1. And I'm gonna clean up the crease that we did, add a bit of color in there, and then do eyeliner. All I would recommend to do is leave your eyes open so you see where your crease is and you don't go too low or too high. Before the concealer dries out and starts setting up, especially to you know your crease, we need to set this up with a powder. So I'm gonna do that with a color called Asteroid. Add it on. So there's kind of like a rule with a hooded eyes not to wear shimmer, so glitters, but I think you know. Why not? I'm gonna add some shimmer in this part and I want it to be more like a cool toned color so I'm gonna go with this like super light color. Taking a small 
Coming back to this beautiful purple color, I'm going to add a bit more of it to the outer corners. So for the eyeliner, I'm going with a Loveless Disco Epic Ink Liner by NYX. So now that the eyeliner is on, we're gonna darken up the outer corners a bit. For that, I'm gonna go with a color called Mars. Once again, using a flat dance brush just to pack on the color. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm taking the wet wipe. I'm using this simple biodegradable wipe. Wrap around my index finger. I'm gonna clean up any fallouts that I have under my eyes. So for the mascara, I'm gonna go with the Better Than Sex mascara. And I'm using the mascara shield because this band is humongous. And if I'm not gonna use the mascara shield, I know it's gonna go all over my mobile lid. Plus I do have a super hooded eye, so. Alright boys and girls, so the eyes are nearly complete, you can go with falses or not, it's up to you. I'm gonna use the Magnetic Accents by Ardell. i literally been using and abusing this falses for I don't know how long you guys. You see how quickly I apply these Magnetic Lashes while I was talking? The next thing what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish off a face, so I'm gonna use for a very first time a brand new brand for me, the X1 Invisive Wear liquid foundation super high up i keep getting you know those commercials which you get on the facebook or instagram while scrolling through and that was showing that it's a new celebrity favorite like celebrity makeup artist favorite foundation that they use on all the celebrities and celebrity pictures kept coming up with the number of the foundation that we use i already did this one online so i'm not sure if the color is gonna match me properly or no but uh, i mean i'm still gonna try it we're gonna pretend that it's matching if it's not so if i'm coming back with a foundation that doesn't match me i'm sorry but i want to film another video in the meantime so yeah so i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna come back to you finish the little lash line Alright guys, so um, a bag, the foundation, setting powder, a bit of a contour is all on. Let's finish off the shadow. So I'm taking the color Jupiter and I'm gonna go all over the lower lash line and then the outer corner is gonna add a bit of this darker purplish color. Taking a small lens brush and a shimmery light color, I'm gonna brighten the inner eye corner. Right, a bit of mascara and the makeup look is complete. Alright, you guys, and the makeup look is complete. What do you think?
So what you thought about this eyeshadow look? Leave a comment down below, let me know. It's super easy to create, it doesn't require much skill and I hope I was informative enough for you to follow it step by step. I did the way that I find it the easiest way to create this, like a cut crease makeup look and for your hooded eyes, so I really hope it's gonna be easy for you to follow this up. If you're gonna go and recreate this makeup look, please tag me in your pictures as I would absolutely love to see it. And leave a comment down below, let me know what you would like to see next up on my channel. Do you like to see more of the makeup tutorials or more of the review videos? And if you enjoyed watching this video and you found this helpful, please don't forget to press the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Honestly guys, I would appreciate that so much. And I shall see you very very soon, so thank you so much for watching and bye! Have an amazing day guys!